Hi everybody, we're from Visa, Bocconi Students Music Association. And uh, we wanted to ask you some questions about the John Lennon bus. First of all, if you could explain to the public what is mm, basically about. So do you want me to kind of introduce myself? Yes. Yeah. <laughs> First, okay. To you guys or to the camera? To the camera. To the camera. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Please. Hi, I'm Jamie. I am from the John Lennon Educational Tour Bus and I am an engineer on board the bus. And just to explain a little bit about the bus, you know, we are a mobile multimedia recording studio and we travel around Europe giving free hands-on opportunities to students around Europe. And, uh, and yeah, it works by, mostly our work is we will get groups of students on board the bus and in eight hours we will write and record an original song and make a music video all inside of the bus. Okay, and how did you come up with such a, an innovative idea? I mean, uh, it's a, uh, I understood it as basically it, it was born much earlier, like 17 years ago, but... Yeah, so the idea actually, um, it was brought about by our executive director, Brian Rothschild. Um, he kind of he had the idea for a bus that would travel around America and, you know, just bring this opportunity to young people that didn't have opportunities like this. And he, he kind of mentioned the idea to Yoko Ono at a meeting one day and she uh, immediately fell in love with the idea and she wanted to add John Lennon's name to the idea to because she believed it was a, a project that John Lennon would have loved and he would have really gotten behind so it's kind of how it all came about. I wish I came up with the idea. You know, yeah. I wish I was that yeah, smart. That's but, awesome. yeah. Yeah, you know. And uh, when you started the whole thing, mm -hmm. did you know it would that work? I mean, did you plan all your down step by step while managing or was it a kind of jumping in the dark? Um, from what I understand, it, see, it, was, it was planned but then it no one expected it to become as big as it did. Such a yeah, great it, thing. It, it really exploded really fast. Uh, I remember, I remember um, Brian telling me that on the first day the bus was started, there was, you know, it was on a, um, a news channel in America, and then it was just in New York for the first day, and then afterwards, after that first day, they got calls from all over America asking them to have the bus. Yeah, asking for the bus in their school, in their community, and amazing. It was it was planned, but then completely exploded, so the plans had to change. But but yeah, I think it was it was very it was all kind of worked out, but they never expected to be in Europe or okay. expand in the way that they have. Okay, and how did you manage the starting up and the whole managing? And the financial problem. Um, well, Brian, our executive director, has he has his base in music and music management, so he had connections in the music world. But um, as as far as uh, general management goes, I personally wouldn't be able to speak on behalf of something that happened <laughs> 17 years ago. But it was it was um, it seems like. I mean, just to give a little bit of a inside story about the, the workings of the bus. The bus is actually, as I mentioned earlier, the bus is actually, all the equipment in the bus is donated by sponsors and given to us by different partners. And um, I think that that's obviously a huge part of managing the financial situation of the bus. And, you know, this general management and starting up was a, a huge process. And, Yoko Ono herself was a huge part of starting the bus and, you know, in a financial way of bringing up the process and getting the bus on its feet. So you, you had a lot of supporters? Yeah, the, there's always a lot of support for it. I mean, obviously the project is very unique, you know, yeah. as mm -hmm. a, there's only two buses like this in the whole world. And um, so a lot of people see something so innovative and so different and they want to help to and they want to they want to experience it and they want to be a part of it. So it's cool. Yeah.
Yeah, uh, we wanted to ask you uh, the name, why the name uh, of John Lennon for the foundation, and you answered and you mentioned earlier, why not? Yeah. But so when, what does John Lennon mean to you, like, personally and for the entire foundation? Um, personally for me, because I'm from Liverpool, I'm from, you know, the city yeah. of the people, yeah. <laughs> John Lennon, where they grew up, so for me, you know, obviously John Lennon is completely ingrained in my upbringing, my parents love the Beatles and they listen to the Beatles all the time, but um, in terms of with the bus, it really gives a good figure, figurehead to the bus, you know, it could be just the educational tour bus, yeah. it wouldn't have the same reaction, you know, people really identify with John Lennon's music and his message of peace and what he gave to the world. And how much he gave for the world. And I think that really opens a lot of doors for us. Helps the bus do what it does and get as many and get as many um, you know partners and as much backing as possible. So I've got a personal curiosity. Um, you mentioned uh, before that you are three engineers and how and why did you decide to jump into this project? My story is very different to the other guys. Um, I'm going to tell her? Yeah, say it loud. Say it loud. How did you come loud. up with the whole idea of uh, jumping in? Um, so, I was actually, like I said, the bus was launched in Liverpool last year, and I was actually part of the first student session. So, I was just supposed to be there for one or two days okay. playing guitar, but I was an audio engineer at home. Okay. And, um, yeah, I kind of just fell in love with the bus, you know, yeah. you walk in, it's amazing equipment everywhere, and, you know, an amazing crew, and they needed another engineer. So, here so, you are. So here, uh, I never left, I came onto the bus and just never left, I was there. And you travel all year long? Or um, you just we, we travel most of the year, we travel for 10 months out of the year, but we have different, you know, we have breaks now and then. And all around the world, you just jump from All around Europe, we, we would like to go all around the world, but right now, all around Europe. So, thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. You've been very kind. Thank you. And that's it. So, goodbye, everybody. Bye.